How can you help when a child is abducted in your area? By getting free Amber Alert text messages on your cell phone. Then you'll be ready to alert the authorities. To sign up, go to wirelessamberalerts.org. A child is calling for help. Brought to you by the Ad Council and KQBB-FM. With your local and area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. Timpson ISD is going to have a groundbreaking ceremony. The Timpson ISD Board of Trustees and Administration will host a groundbreaking ceremony on Thursday, February the 23rd at 10 a.m. Everyone is invited to attend this event as the district kicks off the building program made possible by the passage of the recent bond election. The groundbreaking ceremony will be beside the field house located on the south end of Bear Stadium. The local VFW Post 8904 and the Auxiliary will conduct a reef lane ceremony on February the 28th at the Shelby County Courthouse, says Post Quartermaster Larry Hume. VFW Post 8904 and the Ladies Auxiliary will be, ho- will be hosting a Operation Desert Storm observance on Tuesday, February the 28th at 10 a.m. at the historic courthouse in honor of all Operation Desert Storm veterans. We'd like to invite the public to come out. The first annual Stanley Brigade Memorial Bass Fishing Tournament is scheduled for March the 25th from 6.45 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Castle Boykin Park located in Zavala, Texas. Team entry fee is $150 per team. And coming up this week at the Mission Dolores in San Augustine, they're continuing their monthly Lunch and Learn Series lecture program. Their next lecture is scheduled for Friday the 24th at 12 p.m. This series is going to be about the El Camino Real de los Tejas, past and present, and it will discuss the history of the Royal Road, which runs through Mission Dolores. Coming up this Wednesday, we here at Center Broadcasting Company are celebrating our 68th anniversary, and we're going to have an open house this Wednesday from 11 to 1. The Shelby County Chamber of Commerce Ambassadors would like to invite the public to join them for a ribbon-cutting ceremony for a new member, the Children's Defense Fund of Texas. The ribbon-cutting ceremony is scheduled for Wednesday, February the 22nd at 4.30 p.m. In Joaquin, the Joaquin City Council is going to have a city council meeting tonight at 6.30. In Timson, the Timson City Council is going to have a city council meeting this evening beginning at 5.30. The Shelby County Livestock Show and Sale is coming up. It is scheduled for Thursday, March the 2nd at the Shelby County Expo Center. The sale will be held on Saturday, March the 4th at the John Dean Wyndham Civic Center. For more information, please call 598-7744. That's 598 598- 7744. And in your arrest report in Shelby County, Juan Cervantes, age 17 of Center, criminal trespass. In your obituary, services for 87-year-old Mr. Everett Turpy Garcy of St. Augustine will be held Tuesday, the 21st at 11 a.m. That's today at the Wyman Roberts Chapel with Charles Sharp officiating. Burial will follow in the Atoyac Cemetery in St. Augustine County. He is survived by six daughters, 10 grandchildren, 17 great-grandchildren, one brother, one sister, As always, for more information on our stories, please visit us at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go. And leave us a like on Facebook at Center Broadcasting Company on Facebook. With your local and area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. This news brought to you by Sandy Wheeler State Farm. 